So the time has come once again. It is time to return to Cambridge. Um, it is the day, and I am standing outside my house. So I just want to prove something to you guys. This is all my stuff. This is all of my stuff. I'm taking back to Cambridge. In the boot of the car. Don't even have to go in the back seat. I am so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself for packing light, packing less, being prepared, being being willing to cut down. I know it's not that much of an achievement, but I'm very proud of myself. It took a lot of effort. Um, but we are just about to get in the car now and start driving, go back to Cambridge for um, exam term, which is terrifying, but it's gonna be fine. It's all good. Um, yeah, so let's get going. exciting i have not been here for four weeks not that much but um i've missed it i'm so excited to be back i'm currently unpacking all of my stuff i'm devouring easter egg i brought back to me i think i'm set for chocolate for literally the next year little errand running time i'm now gonna go and take back all the books i have from the library didn't read a single one i did read other things but like all of the Cambridge Library stuff is all online. So I just read all the online stuff. I don't know why I brought seven books from the library with me, but I did. I'm gonna take those back. Oh, the night's events have progressed. Megan has arrived. Hello vlog. Karem's here. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're making friendship bracelets. We are. Megan bought this little kit when she was in Manchester in my house. Um, Insert surprise vlog clip. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It is a lovely little Sunday in Cambridge. Um, the weather this time is gonna be so good because it's summer and I love summer and it's jacket weather and I'm not wearing a coat and it's all just very wonderful. Um, um, this morning, I am off to the library to get a bit of studying done. I have one essay set this term because um, most of the term is just exams. Uh, we don't have any more like actual learning time, um, just um, preparing for exams, which are in four weeks. Uh, um, <laughs> so it's fine. Um, but before I go to the library, I'm gonna go into town and get my phone camera fixed. Um, so it's, it's gotta be better quality, I promise. Is this better, everybody? Is this helping? I hope so, I just paid a lot of money. You know what, I should just stop breaking my phone, really. It's not that hard. Um, <laughs> but now I'm going to the library. Um, I'm gonna start working on my essay, <clears throat> do a bit of reading on politeness. I don't really like it as a topic um, in, in pragmatics, but it's an essay I've got to do, so I'm going to do it. So we're about halfway through my little library study sesh, as you can tell, I'm not in the library, um, but I've just come and take a little break. Um, I can successfully define what being polite means now. After like two and a half hours, but like it was good and it was good for the essay. My essay is on whether we should study politeness or impoliteness. So knowing what politeness is is quite important. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, actually, politeness is not as boring as I thought it was going to be. So I'm back from the library. I've um, been doing a little bit more reading on politeness. Um, but every so often, I do a question that sucks me into thinking and reading about the aims of linguistics as a whole enterprise. Um, so I just read a little paper on why we're even studying politeness and what's the point. And it is actually super relevant for the essay. So that's been fun. It's always fun to turn myself into a little existential crisis about why I bother with my degree. Um, but now I'm back on flat and I'm going to go and do some ironing. Um, I hate ironing and I just never had the time to do it because I'm always late. So I'm like, okay, let's iron everything that could be creased now while you have time and then it'll be fine during the term. Hopefully. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It is a happy Monday. I'm feeling great today um, because it is the celebration of the birth of Megan Conlon. Ooh! Um, everybody say happy birthday to Megan. Um, now I'm just doing a bit of admin. I forgot how much admin is involved at the start of term. Um, we have revision supervisions, um, but as with all supervisions in second year, we have to organize them ourselves. So I have to talk to like my supervisor and my supervision partner or partners and be like, hey, like when works for you? Like, when can we do this? When can we book a room? And it's like, just give me a timetable. Just give me a timetable and I'll turn up. I don't want to have to do all this logistical stuff. It's too much. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to try and do a syntax lecture from last term and go over that. Um, 
And yeah, so that's the plan. So, hi vlog. Megan, things to share? Um, it's my birthday. <laughs> Megan is 20. I am. Happy birthday, Megan. Thanks. We've come for bottomless brunch. Yes. I love your vlog. Thank you, David. <laughs> Your girly pop. <laughs> sunglasses look how pretty it is in cambridge today i am so excited for summer weather this is very exciting um this morning i am up to sidge making my um yearly return yearly return i return um to sidrick which is where all the libraries and the lecture stuff is um still don't have lectures or supervisions or anything um but i'm going up to the libraries there and get working on some syntax i didn't really do any syntax over the break um i did mainly mainly semantics and acquisition really um so I need to get on syntax. I'm going to go through um, some of the lecture notes I made and find some readings and don't really know which part of syntax I'm going to work on, but um, hopefully get working probably on something on questions. Um, so we go up and get to a library. However, I made the fatal mistake of going to the law library where there was a legal conference on, full of people in suits being very professional and talking about law. I was such an outsider. This is, this is not my degree. This is not my vibe. Okay, little update on the study sesh. I left my laptop charger uh, at the flat, along with the syntax lecture notes that I wanted to go over. Um, I brought my folder with me, but the folder didn't have the notes in. So that's quite annoying, but it's fine. Um, I was kind of worried about syntax, but I've just gone through the past papers from the last three years and picked out essay questions. And I actually like quite a lot of the essay questions, which is rogue for me, but I feel quite confident about them. I'm feeling good about syntax now, which is exciting, because um, I was very worried. So I picked out one of those essay questions um, on Merge and the Strong Minimalist thesis, uh, and I'm just currently working on getting an essay plan done for that. Um, so I'm doing a bit of reading, um, but I've now come to the law library and accidentally walked into a professional law conference. That was terrifying. I was sat downstairs and all these people in like suits come and sat around me and they were talking about law and I was like, hee hee, language is recursive. But it officially happened, my laptop died. Very annoyed because I was doing really good work and I was reading Chomsky 2013. It's a really good paper and I'm, I'm liking the paper and I'm understanding it. But now my laptop's dead and I left my charger at the flat. So I'm back in John's. Look how beautiful John's looks in the sun. Oh, it's wonderful. I'm so excited for this term, the weather. It's great. Um, but now I'm coming back to John's. I'm going to charge my laptop, get him with some more reading. Um, but then I also have my tutoring session. Um, so I'm going to teach some French and read more about Merge. Okay, so my laptop is charged and we are back on the grind with um, syntax. Um, so I'm going to go back to the John's library now. Um, and I'm going to keep reading my Chomsky 2013. It's actually a really well-written paper and I really like it. Um, and I'm understanding it. So if anyone is looking for a good introduction to um, generative syntax and like how Chomsky and syntax is working at the minute, I think Chomsky 2013 is a really good overview of it. And I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but he gives really good explanation of what the generative enterprise is and why it's working like that and the minimalist program. The minimalist stuff gets a bit heavy later on, but if you're looking for a good intro to generativism, Trumpsy 2013. I'm gonna go and finish reading it right now. Good morning, everybody, on this bright and beautiful... Oh my God, I used to walk down here and vlog when I lived here. Um, <laughs> anyway, good morning on this bright and beautiful Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Um, and this morning I am giving a tour to some year 12s. Um, student ambassador stuff. Um, yeah. I'm giving a tour, I'm going to show them around, give them some fun facts, the beauties of Crips, my old home. I came back from giving my little tour and it was unbelievably tired, so I took a cheeky little nap, that was lovely. Um, and I made myself some wraps and I'm going to watch um, Next in Fashion um, because I am so into Next in Fashion at the minute. Um, I love it. So, yeah, wraps, have a little lunch break. Alrighty, so we are off to Cedric. I think I'm going to go to the MML library and I'm going to get working on the politeness essay that I was working on the other day. Um, hopefully get that finished. Um, I think I've got pretty much, like, a, about half a plan done, so I want to do a little bit of reading, flesh out the rest of the plan, and then hopefully that should be done and I can write it whenever I get an actual deadline. I don't even know when it's due, but it'll be due at some point. So I want to do that now and then I can get into working on something I actually want to work on and actually will use when it comes to exams because I'm never writing an essay on politeness. I don't care. I don't like politeness. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> this essay is so 
unbelievably dull. Even my favorite place on earth, the UL, couldn't inspire me to do work on it. I just, I, uh, I don't want to talk about politeness. I don't care. <laughs> and I'm just too tired to put in the effort um, to something that I just don't care about. Um, so I have decided to give up <laughs> and I'm just uh, gonna go back to my flat and probably nap, I think, um, and then do a little bit of editing. This exam season, or this term, exam term, the uh, Cambridge productivity bug has taken over my life and I feel an aggressive urge to keep doing things even though I'm really not in the mood to do anything. I feel bad for taking a day off. I'm gonna go and do that rather than wrap up. Stupid, dumb, friggin' politeness. Hey, so it's formal time. <laughs> formal formal was so fun um we were intending to go to formal and then i'll go out to revs but um i am feeling kind of ill or i feel like i'm getting ill and i really need that to not happen this term um because obviously exams are revision and you need to keep on top of things so i need to take care of myself i'm not going to revs i'm going to bed Good morning, everybody. Um, this morning, I am off to the John's Buttery because um, me and a couple of other um, syntax students have decided to have a little syntax revision sesh together. Um, and I never really do group revision sessions because I can't work when there are other people around me. But we're going to make it like a little bit of discussion and debate, which I'm excited about. Um, I've not done any syntax over the break um, because I was too busy doing the other four modules. It's a lie. I was too busy just doing semantics. Um, <laughs> so um, this is going to be interesting, I think. But I'm quite excited. I think it's going to be fun. So we go to the buttery, have a coffee, and discuss syntax. Back in my flat after our little study sesh, um, it was so much fun. It wasn't really like a study sesh, um, it was more of just like a conversation. Um, but we went over some of the content that was in the lectures and like debated them, had a little discussion about sloppy and strict anaphoric, sloppy, sloppy and strict readings of anaphoric collisions. Um, you know, typical conversation. Um, it was really fun, I really enjoyed it. But I've got myself some lunch now and I'm going to watch some next in fashion as i am at the minute um and then i'm probably gonna go to a library I'm not sure which one yet and carry on with my syntax essay that i'm working on um it's not an essay that's due it's just like a past paper one that i want to work on um talking about um merge and if merge is all we need in syntax um and actually during our little discussion then came up about i argued no we need labeling but do we need labeling do we really great question i'm gonna talk about that in my essay but that's not for now now it's next in fashion. Hear me out. Um, I've just been in the psychology library getting on with some reading on merge uh, and why we might not need to label, um, which has been really, really interesting. I was really liking it. I was really getting into it. And then I remembered, oh, I'm going for coffee with a friend. So now I have to stop. But I was in such a good rhythm and I was really getting through the paper and I was really enjoying it, really understanding it. I was in the groove. And then I had to stop. But I will stop being such a whiny little brat because I've got to go for coffee with a friend. Uh, calm down, Oliver. You're being horrible and insufferable. But that's my update. I've now left the library. I'm going to have coffee with a friend. And I think I'm going to work late tonight because A, I need to. Hello, Oliver from the future here. Just coming to weigh in. You really did not need to do that. You really did not need to pull a late night. Term hadn't even started, Oliver. Just Calm down. Calm down. Oh my god. I really do not want to perpetuate the like Cambridge study grind of like you know, all the time. But every time I go back to Cambridge, I just fall victim to it again and again. It's not necessary. It's really not necessary. I would just like to put it out there to Oliver and to anyone who was watching this. You don't need to work that hard. Please, for the love of God, calm down. Okay, back to the video. I am feeling stressed. I'm feeling very stressed. Oh, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Breathe. Um, so I've just been looking at um, like what I've got to do and my outline of the course that I have written down and it just feels like I have a lot to do. Um, I feel a lot more stressed than I did at this point last year and that's because the amount of content and the difficulty of getting through everything has stepped up hugely compared to first year. Um, and also, this year counts towards my final grade. Um, this year is 40% of my final grade. First year didn't matter. So... I feel you can all probably tell that this term of vlogs, 
are going to be a little bit stressful. And that's because it's exam term. It's obviously going to be a stressful period. It is so stressful. It is so stressful. I, I feel completely on edge right now. And that's probably why I am. It's probably coming across. But there is so much content that is thrown at you. And because we have the short eight week terms, you don't really have time to engage with it all as much as you would like to during that time. And then by the time it gets to that, you're so burnt out because you've been go, go, go every single day for like eight weeks straight that you are forced to take time off. But then there is so much content, you can't really afford to take time off. But you have no choice because you're so burnt out. And it's just, it gets to exam season. It's like, oh my God, I feel like I've not done enough. Despite the fact that I have worked every single day during Michaelmas and during Lent. And it still doesn't feel like enough. And it is just so stressful. But it's okay. It will be okay. I'm good at this. I know what I'm doing. I've done the work. It's going to be fine. I have about 25 days until um, exams start. And the way my exams are working is they're, they're take home open book exams. Um, and I have to write two essays over two days. Or in one case, I have to write three essays over two days. Um, which is going to be hell, but it's going to be fine. Um, because of that, I don't have the time to be doing reading during those two days. I have to do all the reading beforehand so I can just plan and write the essays when it comes to the actual exam time. But I'm going to be writing two, maybe three essays out of a selection of 10 for every paper. So there is going to be so many topics that we've done that I will just never get it tested on, never get examined on, and I get to choose which essays I do. So there is no point trying to read every piece of literature on every single topic that we've done in every single paper. That is pointless and completely inefficient and just also impossible. So I'm going to go through all the papers. I'm going to pick the topics that I like, that I feel confident on, that I feel comfortable writing an essay on and just focus on those and focus on doing reading for those and doing practice essays about those and just feeling comfortable with, I don't know, five or six topics out of the 15 topics, let's say, that I've done per paper. I'm going to do some deep breaths <laughs> and I'm going to watch Next in Fashion and I'm going to lie down and I'm going to get a good night's sleep and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. And now for a complete tone change, here's C Sunday. Good morning everybody. Um, it's not the morning, it's like 12, but today is a very important day in the Cambridge calendar. It is C Sunday, which you may remember from last year, is the Sunday before exams start. Everyone comes to your screen <laughs> in a big field and there's an excessive amount of drinking and that's all it is. So we're here, hello, um, and I'm eating jelly, we're having a lovely time, it's very fun. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I mean like... So, um, Megan has arrived. I wanted to! Megan was a Wait, look at my cake. Why am I filming this like a 2000s trainers commercial? What's with all the camera angles? What is going on here? We're kind of slaying. Uh, ah, vodka. That's what was going on. Uh, Megan wasn't here before and I was sad, depressed, what's the point, why am I even here? And then Megan arrived! And I appeared. I've been up all weekend. Babes, there's such a story here, right? I'm so gonna blow that. <laughs> And I am back in John's at like, I wonder if it's like 9 p.m. Um, I have Barbara. I've successfully uh, remained having Barbara. I was really worried I was gonna lose her, but it's fine. Um, but we're back. Um, today was so fun. Today was so, so fun. The weather was amazing. Um, it was so good for a sea Sunday. Um, and we just had some Mackies, got some food. I feel all well and um, fulled up now. And then I'm gonna go and go to bed. Uh, I have my first lecture tomorrow, so that's quite exciting. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was my first vlog of exam term of second year when things start getting real and counting. Um, so after today, I'm really gonna crack down. It's really gonna get real. So um, just drop in for some realness. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.